What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and the Borderlands the pre-sequel save editor was just released today on October the 19th. This is the initial public release, and as a result, um, you probably want to back up your save files because damage could occur. You know, he's not exactly sure this is a perfectly stable version yet. There is some missing data in fast travel and probably some other areas. There are no console versions of this yet because... Um, they require a little bit more effort to do, and we wouldn't be discussing them anyway because this is a PC-centric channel. And, you know, he's worked on some stuff here, but it, obviously this is a working release, so if you find um, problems with it, you can go ahead and comment on it. I've already downloaded it, and uh, I've got it right here, so we're just going to open it up. And it will go ahead and open up. Then you're going to want to open your save file. He's already got the um, save file directory mapped, so that works out really nicely. And I'm just going to open this save file. And there are items in this backpack that um, failed to load. If you choose not to remove them, they will remain, but your save will not be editable. Um, I don't know what will get removed. I'm just going to hit yes. We'll see what got removed. Eh, it doesn't look like anything too important got removed, so I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, um, let's say I wanted to edit this stuff here and give myself max money and max moonstone. Cool. So now I should have max money and max moonstones. I'm going to make that all nines just because. Yes. All right, perfect. Um, if we go into the backpack, we can create a new weapon. Um, this is where you'd go to select um, DLC asset pools, but obviously they don't exist yet. So I'm just going to get started here. New weapon. Um, I don't know. Let's see what would be fun to have. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all the legendary weapons would be yet. Uh, let's just see if I can get me a Skull Masher. Okay, so the Skull Masher does still exist, so that's good. We'll go ahead and grab that and get it with that. Um, I'm currently level 18. God, I suck at this game. Or I, at least I haven't been playing it too much. So we'll make that 18. We'll give it the body that it needs. And this is just how you create a weapon. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of how that would work. Um, sight. I like to go with dull sights on my sniper rifles. I don't like them to be um, too zoomed because that's something I don't appreciate. Obviously, it's Jacob, so like most Jacobs, there will be no element. I'll go with the damage prefix. Um, well, she doesn't have accuracy boost, so I might go with the accuracy prefix just to tighten it up a little bit. Ooh. Now, see, this is something I didn't know about, that all guns in Borderlands is pre-sequel are going to have a second accessory or maybe just um, legendary ones. I'm not exactly sure how that will work yet, so that'll be worth looking into. Fast Learner, Boominator, Oxygenator, Piercing Rounds, Punisher. Punisher sounds cool. I don't know what it does. Armor Piercing sounds kind of cool as well. But uh, yeah, we'll just leave Prefix and Title as none. The game will set that for us when we log in. I'm going to set this to level 18. Perfect. So, now when I log in, um, I should have a Skull Masher in my inventory, and we'll check that out in just a second. Um, I'm interested in making one more weapon. Why not? What should I make this time? Looks like I could make any number of lasers. Wow, even Jacobs makes lasers. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's make a shotgun. Bandit, Hyperion, Jacobs, TDR, or Torg. Well, let's go with Hyperion. And so the conference call is still in the game. The Heartbreaker is still in the game. Interesting. I wonder if all of the um, unique weapons from the main game still remain in the asset pool. Um, hmm. Are there any unique weapons from the main game that I truly appreciate? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there is. I just can't recall at the moment. Um, hmm. Well, I guess this would be easy to test. Okay, so the Stomper is not still there, so I guess not everything made it over, but the Heartbreaker did make it over, which is interesting, um, because obviously that's a Moxie weapon. Um, let's just see here, what would I like to make? I'll see if the Good Touch and Bad Touch made it over real quick. So the Good Touch and Bad Touch did definitely make it over, and so did the Hellfire. Um, looks like there's a Frost Fire, I'm sure that's kind of like a Fire and Ice Chilean, or um, yeah, like a Chilean. Torque shotgun. I'm sure the flacker made it over. Excellent, it did. 
Torgmata, Wombat, and Jacko Cannon. So it looks like there's some cool stuff that made it into the Torg shotguns, and we'll be looking at all these different weapons as I, you know, get to the end of the game, and then I can start a little series where I test out all the weapons and give you my thoughts on them. Bandit Launcher, Malawan Launcher, TDR Torg. No, I don't want a launcher. Uh, pistols. Eh, I guess we'll... I could get a Maggie. That would be kind of fun, I think. Yeah, we'll get a Maggie real quick. So the Maggie's definitely in there. Ooh, Cyber Colt. That sounds cool. Um, I don't know what it is, but it sounds cool. We'll make it level 18. And I'll go ahead and fill out the rest of the data on this. And then I'll log into Borderlands, uh, the pre-sequel, and we'll see if all of these items have come through for me. Sight. Um, I like the Jacob Sight on the Maggie stock. Obviously it doesn't have one. Being a pistol, element, not going to have one accessory. I'm just going to go with the damage accessory. And then this. Ooh, I guess I'll try uh, I wanted to try piercing rounds for the Maggie. Um, material. Give it the actual material it has. Otherwise it will show up with ugly textures. And so yeah. Once you've done that, just go ahead and save it. Um, you probably want to make a backup of your save before you overwrite it real quick. And in order to do that just go to where your save files are. Go ahead and like copy this one and then just paste it in documents or something and that way you'll have a backup of it paste it see right there perfect um, yeah so then you can go ahead and close that and then save this over your existing save file perfect now I'll catch up with you in Borderlands 3 sequel alright so once you're here you're gonna want to select your character um, again load it in again because you have made changes to it and then once you launch in you should have um, you know, your new stuff. Ah, so it looked like my shield went away. That was the one thing that got deleted. That's okay. But now I have this Maggie, and I can go ahead and put it here. We can see how the Maggie shoots. Ah, oh, the Maggie is dope. Do enjoy the Maggie. Um, so I guess I'm a cheater now. Um, I don't, you know, not condone, or... I'm a proponent of using Gibbed to make your uh, experience more enjoyable in Borderlands, any Borderlands game. Um, also got the Skull Masher. Damn, the Jacob skin looks sweet in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, so I guess that's what the Punisher thing did. 30% um, chance to ignore enemy shields with that second accessory there on the Maggie. That's pretty cool. I'll see what all of those do. And this gives me an extra 10% critical hit damage, so that's pretty cool by having that second accessory from Loonshine. I'm unsure how you'll actually get those items in the game, but that is neat. Also, I have Max Moonstone, so we can go ahead and buy a bunch of stuff here and just get rid of all these, I guess. Or at least most of them. Yeah, so, got rid of all those, and now I'll get the achievement for that. And I probably have plenty of money as well. You can do a lot of things with uh, the Gibbs Save Editor. You can edit how many skill points you have. You could max all this out if you want to. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But if you want to play around with certain different weapons or buy, you know, moon, moon rocks or whatever, um, that's an easy way to do it. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I will leave a link to the um, Save Editor in the description of this video. I do appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd really appreciate that as well. Otherwise, you know, like I said, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.